Eh bien, mesdames et messieurs, um, now, his mother is a black South African woman and his father is a white Swiss German man. He is learning the German language from his girlfriend so he can speak to his father. It's true. Uh, I would have gone to school with him, but it was illegal under apartheid. Uh, still, he's a close personal friend of mine. Please welcome on stage the one and only Mr. Trevor Noah. Thank you, Eddie. And good evening, Montreal. Or bonsoir. That's uh, all I know how to say. And now we begin. Comedy is such an awkward experience, isn't it? This, I feel like this is exactly like sex for me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's exactly like sex. Me, the comedian, playing the role of the man, and you, the audience, the role of the woman. Because it's my job to satisfy you. <laughs> and you just have to sit there. And then just like sex, my success or failure is somehow determined by how much noise you make during my performance. <laughs> so I hope you aren't the quiet types. I feel like you're faking it now. <laughs> Montreal. I didn't know that the place was this French. I did not know Montreal was this French. Like people said it's bilingual, bi meaning two, bi, like bisexual, but it's not bi, it's French. It's, <laughs> it's French, like with more French. That's all it is, it's like French. The pharmacies are French. I may need medical assistance and it's in French. Vu, vu, I don't know what these things are. I'm everything is in French. Every the signs are in French. Everything, the streets are in French. The restaurants are, in the only thing that's in English is the signs. It's like the signs that lead you to the airport. Those are in English, yes, on the highway. Was, are you leaving? Ah, English. This way, this way. Yes. Airport. 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 Bon voyage. There's no, it's just, it's just French. Everything French. Even the people are defiantly French. Like you walk into stores and people will greet you. They'll greet you in French. And then you'll reply in English and they don't respond. They wait for you. Almost like you will crack under the pressure and turn French. <laughs> just walk in. Bonjour. Oh no. Hello. Hello. Such a different world for me, the French. My friends back home are loving it. They're like, oh, oh you're, going to, you're going to Montreal, you're speaking French. French is the most romantic language in the world. Oh, it's romantic. I, I, I'd see it as a romantic language, but I, I'm not enamored by French. I appreciate the language, but it's not my, my I don't think it's the sexiest language. I think French is too hesitant to be the sexiest language, in my humble opinion. There's, just, there's not enough confidence in the language. It's just, uh, you know, the, the, <laughs> the it was, uh, how you say, I, Like, it's just not, you know, no wonder they never won any wars. There's just no... Oh, come on, what, are you gonna fight the Germans, the most efficient race on the planet, and you stuttering and stammering? These people attack with blitzkrieg. That is the speed of lightning, and they, you, uh, it was, uh, how you say, the... These people are, imagine the bombings are happening. The French are there, the Germans are coming in, flying low, about to drop bombs. The Germans are there, the French running into the barracks, like, ah, Sergeant, Sergeant! Oui, Philippe. <laughs> what is it? The Germans! They are, uh... <laughs> They are, uh, how you say, uh... Not so sexy anymore. <laughs> I speak many. I, I speak. I speak six languages. I, I, in South Africa, we have eleven official languages. You know, so so you know, like Montreal is bilingual. Uh, we have eleven. <laughs> And I, I speak those, uh, I speak English, Afrikaans, which is a form of Dutch, uh, Zulu, Tswana, Tsonga, Peri. I never learned my parents' languages growing up, which I always regretted. Uh, I never learned my mother's language, Kasa. Uh, that's one of the languages with the clicks, Kasa. But not like in movies, you know, where they're like, mmm, 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 mmm. That's not like, like we even watch those movies going, I don't know what they're saying, I don't know. I don't know, where are they from? Where, I think they're from Cleveland, I don't know. So we don't know what's going on. 
I'm learning German to connect with my father. We lost contact for many years because of apartheid, and now we're speaking to one another. And it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing, you know? I'm learning him, he's learning me. And uh, German is a very tough language to learn, so I immerse myself. I read German books, I, I watch German movies. I play German speeches on my iPod when I sleep. Fantastic, your brain remembers things you don't even know. It's beautiful. The only hiccup was a few months ago, I found out I was learning some of Hitler's speeches, um, which I didn't. Oh, not my fault, it was Google. I just said German speeches, Google didn't go, oh, not these ones, it just gave me everything. <laughs> And so, so now when I speak German, I tend to sound distinctly Hitlerish, which is not the best thing, especially because I found this out in Germany, in Cologne, actually, beautiful city. I was walking around, I went into like a sandwich shop, like a subway, and walked in. The woman was really nice. She was, Guten Tag, kann ich helfen? And I looked at her and I said, Guten Tag! Ich will ein kleinen Boten haben, bitte sehr! Das schwarze Boten mit der Käse! Und das Sinken, bitte sein! Und gib für mich auch die Salami! Und ein Pepsi-Cola trinken, bitte! And she shut herself. Yes. You guys have been great, thanks for having me.